part 284, C3M1B7, C8E, 13C9, C6D, 3P38D, 19D, 7B, 9D, 10. 922F1FA, 19C3M1B7, C8E, 13C9, C6D, 3P38D, 19D, 7B, 9D, 10. 19 non classical light globber 5G white wow seti. There is the um, alien radio signal there. And this is non-classical light, quantum optics, Glauber Sudarshan P representation, keyword research for the long distance signals in the WOW data. So we're still talking about these long distance signals now for the last 25 or so videos. And I'm just basically doing my keyword research to figure out what all this stuff means. And I'm sharing it with you as I do my research. So March 23rd, 2013, today is the 27th. Keyword ideas are rate of energy, bilinear form, Fermi line, Fermi edge singularity. Then I looked at mesoscopic X-ray edge problem and mesoscopic fluctuations in this line of data. Uh, it was called quantum optics electronics 5G well study. Um, then we took the keywords mesoscopic fluctuations, added quantum optics, non-classical light, and the Glauber Sudarshan P representation. Quotes from Wiki. Non-classical light is light that cannot be described using classical electromagnetism. Its characteristics are described by the quantized electromagnetic field in quantum mechanics. Non-classical light has non-classical noise properties, called quantum noise, which can be understood on the basis of quantum optics. Common described forms of non-classical light are the following. Squeeze light exhibits reduced noise in one quadrature component. The most familiar kinds of squeeze light have either reduced amplitude noise or reduced phase noise, with increased noise of the other component. Fox states, also called photon number states, have a well-defined number of photons stored, example, in the cavity, while the phase is totally undefined. Keyword Glauber Sudarshan P representation, the main article has been shown that the density matrix for any state of light can be written as, and there's the formula that they have, and where another strange looking thing, is a coherent state, a classical state of light is one in which those two symbols together, is a probability density function. If it is not, the state said to be non-classical aspects of that symbol. That would make it non-classical R, a negative value at any point. Being more singular than a Dirac delta function, the matter is not quite simple. According to Mandel and Wolf, the different coherent states are not mutually orthogonal, so that even if P with A in the brackets behaved like a true probability density function, it would not describe probabilities of mutually exclusive states. Um, Non-classical light is going to continue in the next video, too. Thanks for watching.